Hi everyone. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to vectorize your fonts. From time to time, I like to send my design work over to other designers to get a second opinion, or maybe perhaps they can even improve it. But a common issue that keeps on coming up is that they might not have the same accessibility as I have to the certain fonts that I have in my library. And maybe I don't want to share those fonts with them for reasons of licensing, personal commercial use. And so we have an issue where if I were to send this design over to them and they would try to open it up on Adobe Illustrator in this case, this font would not appear. So here is a little trick on how to get around this. So if we take a look at No Monkey Business, for example, you're going to notice as we hover over it that there is a blue line that appears along the bottom of the text. That means that obviously it can be edited and we can change the words and letters to whatever we want it to say. But in this case, we want to make it solid. We want to make it almost like this rectangle, this blue rectangle in the background where it's a shape. And we can expand it, we can make it smaller, we can flip it around, just like that. And there's a very simple way to do that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to select your text and you need to go to type. And on type, go down to create outlines and now keep your eye on no monkey business. You're going to notice that now it has a border. Just like the box has a blue border on the edges, but now no monkey business has a border around every single letter. So that means that you can actually select the letters and actually make them bigger, take them out of the text and do whatever you want to do with them. But now there won't be any issues when you send them off, when you send this design off to other designers, because now it's no longer a font. Now it's an object. So that is how you vectorize fonts. So in reference to creating outlines, here's another little trick. If you just take a look at this box that I've created here, if you reduce it down in size, you're going to notice that the stroke on the outside, that's the blue, the dark blue line, it doesn't really change. It maintains its size. You can change that, obviously, by selecting the up and down arrows on the stroke. But perhaps, for the sake of your illustrations, maybe you want the stroke to reduce in size and you want it to maintain its proportion with the actual square. So here's a little trick on how to do that. So the first thing you do is you have to select the square. And when you select the square, you can go all the way to object and you go down to path. And on path, select outline stroke. And on that, once you do that on outline stroke, you'll notice that these lines have appeared. So what's happened is that the stroke is no longer a line. It's now a shape. It actually has a border here and a border there. So if I were to reduce the size of the square, you will now notice that the stroke also reduces in size. So that's a little trick for you, for you to apply on your design work. Thanks for watching.